Hello everyone, it's Darla at Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's tip. Today's tip comes out of necessity because I'm working on a card and I needed a thin piece of ribbon, um, but I needed it in a specific color. I wanted it in Bermuda Bay. And I didn't have any, I don't have any skinny ribbon in Bermuda Bay right now. I need to place some orders. But I had this, um, 1 8 inch sheer ribbon, which comes in whisper white. I had just a few pieces of it left um, that I had cut for another project and didn't end up using. So I wanted to show you how to color, how I color them. Here are a couple that I've already colored. This one I colored with the Stampin' Blends marker. And this one I colored with just, an, these two I colored with just an ink pad. Now, the cool thing I noticed about these, are the ones that I did with the ink pad, they stay really pliable, but the ones that I did with the Stampin' Glenn's marker, uh, it's, it got pretty stiff. So that might be a cool feature if you wanted a certain kind of look on a card. I'm gonna play with that and I'll show you probably in another video or just on my blog with a card that I do. But today I wanted to show you how I color the ribbon. So here I have a piece of the 1 8 inch sheer ribbon, Whisper White, and I have a Bermuda Bay ink pad. That's the color of ribbon that I need. So I just put it on my ink pad and pull it through. This is a messy one, so if you have gloves, you'll want to use your gloves, <laughs> but I didn't have any. And then I'm going to do the other side. And I'd like it a little darker, so I'm going to pull it through again. And also on the other side. And then both sides are colored for when you tie your bow. There you go, perfect. The other way to do it is with your Stampin' Blend marker. Super easy, less mess. You just color it. This is an alcohol ink, so it dries quickly. And then I do the other side as well. And this is the one that dries a little stiffer, but it takes the color really great with the marker. The only thing about the markers is they don't come in all the colors, so if you want a special color, you might not have it. I also have a project that I want to do with my um, special needs adults class that I do once a month. We have It's coming up next week. And they do a lot of tie-dye stuff. They have a little store in town that um, they, they make crafts at and they sell them and so they do a lot of tie-dye uh, like t-shirts and bags for the grocery store and stuff um and they do other things I'll have to go in there and take a picture sometime they usually come here for class so I'll stop by one time and take a picture and share on my blog what they do but I wanted to show you a technique I'm going to teach them this is not a, my idea but I think it's a brilliant idea and I cannot remember for the life of me whose YouTube channel I saw it on, but I will find out and post that on my blog so she gets credit. But she uses her brusho to color the ribbon. So I have some organza ribbon that I wanna show you what, what she did. First, I wanna um, spritz it real good. And try not to get this Bermuda Bay ink on it. Maybe I'll clean as much as I can off. But I want to get it wet. And 
And then what she does is she takes a piece of watercolor paper and spritzes it and lays her ribbon on top. And I'm gonna spritz it some more to get my ribbon extra wet. And then she just sprinkles her brush out on it. To add some color to her ribbon. I think I need to make my hole a little bigger on this one. Oh, there it comes. There it's coming out better. And then this adds color to the cardstock or the watercolor paper, but also to the ribbon. Can you see that? So it's got that tie dyed look on the bow as well, on the ribbon as well. So when you tie your bow, going to be a tie-dyed look. And then I'll, I trim my tails so the white isn't showing. And I'll use this on the card. I think it'll be really pretty and I think it'll be a really fun project for them to do. And they'll get messy before they go to, to lunch. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to dab up some of that. I don't have a card ready to show you the end result, but I will after next week's class. But isn't that a beautiful background that you can use for the card and then add your matching ribbon to it? I think it's really pretty. So remember your Stampin' Right mark, your Stampin', not right markers, your Stampin' Blend markers make the ribbon a little stiffer. Your ink pads keep it pretty soft, just like normal. And you do both sides so that the color goes through on your bow. That's all I have to share with you. Have fun with it. Try it in lots of colors. I, I got to order some more of this ribbon so I can try it in all my favorite Stampin' Up! colors. And that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next week with Tuesday's Tip.